In this week's episode, I take my minivan camper into North Dakota in search of two truly off-the-beaten-path destinations, White Butte, the highest point in North Dakota, and the Enchanted Highway, a magical and lonely stretch of highway lined with giant metal sculptures. We're at the South Dakota-North Dakota border, and we're about an hour from the North Dakota high point. And it's been raining for most of the drive here from the Black Hills. Right now, it's just super cloudy. So let's keep our fingers crossed that when we get up to White Butte, the North Dakota high point, we'll be able to actually get to it without rain. <laughs> As I drive down miles of dirt roads through the remote badlands of southwestern North Dakota, I think about why I love visiting state high points. Some high points, like today's destination, have spectacular views. Others have a more subtle charm. And more often than not, they bring me to parts of the country I might otherwise never visit. At 3,506 feet in elevation, White Butte is the highest point in North Dakota and a 30th highest state high point in the U.S. Was driving hours out of my way to this desolate location worth it? Definitely. White Butte is a place of great beauty, and as I gained elevation, I was surprised at the variety of the terrain on this hike. The rugged badlands gave way to grasses and small groves of trees, and as I neared the summit, I was rewarded with grand views of the surrounding landscape. The wind picked up as I reached the top, where I found a sign and an old ammo can holding a register. I signed the log, ate a few snacks, and enjoyed the view before scampering back to my car in an effort to beat the rain. Greetings from my campsite in Regent, North Dakota. You know, I went to the top of the North Dakota High Point earlier, White Bluff, and had a really good time. It was a fun hike and it was a real nice area. And then I drove to Regent. The reason I came here is it is home to the Enchanted Highway. It's a series of scrap metal sculptures. I saw a couple today in town and I'm hoping to see more tomorrow. Good morning. It rained most of the night. I think the latter half of the night was dry. Of course, I stayed dry here in the hiker mobile back there. Now this morning, I didn't spend a lot of time at the campground. I tidied up a little bit and got dressed. And then I drove up here to the Enchanted Castle, which is just a few blocks from the campground. The owner yesterday said I could come up here for coffee in the morning, and I gladly did. So I'm caffeinated up and I'm feeling good. And now we're gonna go head out on the Enchanted Highway. Our first stop on the Enchanted Highway is right in downtown Regent. This 40-foot knight defends the Enchanted Castle Hotel from a ferocious dragon. One thing I noticed straight away is there's some birds <laughs> nesting inside the family. And when they do their cooing on the inside there, it kind of echoes. I'm not sure if you could hear it. And then you have the son here who looks an awful lot like Bart Simpson in my opinion. Next up, pheasants on the prairie. And look at the little pheasant babies. A funny thing, I did see a pheasant run across the road, not far from here this morning. Mama pheasant, I'm assuming. And Papa. Next on the agenda, the fisherman's dream. And man, this one is huge. It's a lot to take in. Let me just give you the overview real quick. And we'll see if we can figure out what all the fish are. So over here, I do believe this is a pickerel or a pike. And we've got a couple of fish here. I'm not quite sure. Maybe, a, maybe that one's a walleye. Got a catfish back there. I'm afraid I'm not quite sure what this one is, but I do, of course, know that one. 
<laughs> that's a big rainbow trout catching a dragonfly, but also, if you look carefully, catching some birds right now. <laughs> so let's do the rounds here. Wow, this is really cool, man. I I'm just thrilled that I came here because <laughs> this was something I saw on the map and I was like, oh, that sort of looks cool. And yeah, it is real cool. Here we've got a, what I believe to be a sunny or bluegill maybe. Oh, and then there he is. There's our fisherman. Next up, grasshoppers in the field. Look at the size of this guy. And he's got some of his little friends here as well. So the way this enchanted highway works, there's about 30 miles of road. And I think these sculptures are spaced about every five miles or so. There's some honking out there. I don't know if that's a, a cow or a bird of some kind. Anyway, we've got the grasses and here's a smaller grasshopper. Here at the deer jumping over the fence, we've also got the maze of enchantment. Built for your enjoyment. Well, let's do it. Which way to go? I wish I knew. Oh no, are we stuck in the maze of enchantment? 